Okay, listen to this. There are 2.2 million apps on the App Store. Now, obviously, that is just a crazy amount of apps, but sometimes we can miss out on some really good ones that help improve our school life, our productivity, our creativity, and even help entertain us. And as you guys know, I've been using the iPad 8th generation, and today I'm gonna share with you guys some of the best apps for this iPad. All right, I'm gonna be honest, I have a lot of apps to get through, so we're gonna absolutely speed run this entire process. If you wanna see me go more in depth on some specific apps, just let me know in the comments, because for a couple of them, I'm going to do that. And if you wanna skip around any part of this video, make sure that you check out the description so that you can find whatever category you're most interested in. All right, so the first category we're gonna start off with is entertainment, and for this, I have two games and one media consumption app. So the first game that is really popular right now is of course Among Us and this game is just really great as like a social game and especially in the time that we're in right now it's just a really fun game to play with a group of friends or even online and this next game is a really good option if you really want to take advantage of all the graphics that's capable with this A12 processor and that is PUBG Mobile. This game is a really good action-packed game and is currently the best option for a battle royale because of all the drama that's going on with Apple versus Fortnite. This is a really good option. And finally, my media consumption app of choice is Netflix. Obviously, there are other ones just like this, but Netflix is my choice. And the next category of all these apps are going to be more oriented towards school life. And the first app that we're going to take a look at is Scannable. Scannable is just the best app for scanning documents on the fly and is really, really useful in school especially since for at least for my school, um, we're not really allowed to touch paper. So this comes in really handy. The next app that comes in really handy, especially for school is obviously Quizlet. I've talked about them before and I could honestly do an entire video on just Quizlet alone. Let me know if you guys want to see that, but not only has Quizlet really good for all things flashcard, but it actually got some UI changes that makes it even better to use. And over the four years that I've been using Quizlet, wow. I have never been disappointed. All right, and these next two apps are pretty interchangeable. It's GoodNotes 5 and Notability, and really just any note-taking app is really useful, especially for students. Again, I have GoodNotes 5 videos that go in depth on the app, and I have some Notability videos coming up, so make sure that you stay tuned for that. And the next category of all these apps are gonna be things that are centered around creativity and just being creative on the iPad. So the first creative app that you just have to have on your iPad is of course Procreate. And Procreate is really just the best sketching, painting, drawing, whatever you want to call it, app, and it's really good for either mocking up quick ideas or even doing some professional work. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, you can get some serious work done on Procreate, and it's even better with the Apple Pencil. And for my photo editor of choice, I've got to give that to Snapseed. It is just the best and most simple photo editor to use. As you can see here, everything is simply laid out for you, and it isn't overwhelming at all like other photo editing apps, which makes this really great for beginners. And finally, the last creative app that I've used so much is of course LumaFusion. And this is really just like Final Cut Pro X on an iPad. Also, it's like a fraction of the price. It's pretty amazing what you can get done in LumaFusion on the iPad. Again, I'm gonna have a separate video completely dedicated to LumaFusion because you can get so much done in this app. And finally, this last category of apps are just apps that completely optimize my productivity. And of course, it wouldn't be a productivity app without talking about Notion, which is honestly just so good for managing anything and basically everything that you have to do. I completely recommend that you check out my previous Notion videos because this is just basically the ultimate management app and it's really good for all around generally everything. Next up, my to-do list app of choice is actually Todoist. And there are just so many features with this app, especially when compared to something like Apple's Reminders. Honestly, I have used both these apps for really long periods of time. And whenever I'm switching to Apple Reminders, I just feel like I'm missing out on things. And it's also pretty cool that Todoist now has its own widgets and hopefully all these other apps will get widgets as well. And finally, my personal podcast and music app of choice is Spotify. I know that there are apps that do separate things like Apple Podcasts is only for podcasts, but Spotify is just a great app that does both of these things really well, and I'd rather just have them both combined so I can go to this one place for all things audio. So there are some of the best apps that I use basically all the time 
on this iPad. And if you want to see some more apps, maybe specific to the iPhone, make sure that you let me know down in the comments, because I know that I have really gotten a lot of value out of these apps. And just like these apps could provide you a lot of value, if this video has provided you any value, it would really help my channel if you left a like and even subscribe if you want more videos just like this one. More videos are on the way, so hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss them. I'm Matt, and thanks for watching.